Like Demon's Souls before it, Dark Souls is a brave step in the right direction for gaming. A title not pandering to the masses, but instead catering for a select few. It might not be to everyone's taste, but Dark Souls is a rare vintage that will reward those who can acquire its taste. Dark Souls is a niche title given a AAA treatment. While the graphics are not up there with the likes of Witcher 2, the art direction is of such a high calibre that anyone who witnesses the world of Dark Souls will be seduced. Unlike its predecessor, Dark Souls is an open world, though it isn't one that will be readily available to begin with. As you progress, you open up the world like a giant puzzle, creating shortcuts and finding hidden pathways. Much like Demon Souls, the sound in Dark Souls isn't amazing. It isn't weak exactly, there are some nice musical touches and the sound effects are solid, but it never gels perfectly. The score, while unique and atmospheric, sounds last generation. The synthesised orchestra sounds are out of date, sounding like MIDI rather than real instruments. The voice acting is also bad, amazingly coming across as both wooden and twee. Been eaten alive, I started to think. Thank you. The gameplay is largely unchanged from Demon's Souls, utilising basic melee with ranged weapons and magic. Magic is no longer limited by a regenerating bar, instead each spell has a certain amount of usages. Once depleted you will have to rest at a bonfire to recharge the spell. Melee isn't very deep, or especially smooth, and is incredibly difficult to be effective at. Even the most basic and weak enemies will kill you in a second if you mess up. There is no room for being gung-ho in Dark Souls, haste is always punished. It doesn't sound all that fun on paper, but because progression is so difficult, when you do move on, you are so elated you feel like a god. I should point out that while the difficulty of Dark Souls is very much the intention of the developers, it doesn't change the fact that many players, even seasoned gamers, will be put off in the end. If you can get past the grinding and repetition you will eventually be rewarded, but it is still so punishing at times that it isn't fun anymore, and that is a bad thing however you look at it. What makes Demon's Souls so fun is a hard thing to put your finger on, but about 20 hours in it fell into place. You as a player are levelling up. You may think I'm being facetious and suggest that with all games you improve the longer you play, and it's true, but your progression in Dark Souls is boundless. While on one of my many, many trips around Undeadburg, I realised that though I had not levelled up in many hours, I was beating the crap out of knights that I'd previously run scared from. The world of Dark Souls is intimidating and bleak, however one thing saves you from despair and it will surprise those who are new to the franchise. As long as you are connected to the internet, you are actually playing the online multiplayer version of the game. Throughout your sessions you will see the ghosts of other players who are near you at that exact moment. People can also leave messages pointing out ambushes, hidden items or helpfully suggesting that you jump off a cliff. A quick tip, I would ignore those ones. You can also join friends or strangers in their own campaigns against the Dark Hordes by being summoned or invading games. By doing so you can earn souls and humanity and also learn from other players. Few games come close to being so well conceived. Everything from the visuals to the gameplay is finely tuned, creating a world so immersive that you can lose yourself. That is, if you can take it. No!